Okay, General Scott agents, uh, some of you have asked how to create a property tracker account for your clients, or maybe you haven't even asked how to create a property tracker account, but you're just wondering, how can I send my clients listings from the John L. Scott website? So um, it's actually uh, a little bit more confusing than some of the other platforms, although once you kind of see it, it's not that hard and it just takes a few minutes. But anyway, let's take a look and see how to do that. So the first thing that we do is, uh, you know, we're always going to start in my desk. And uh, for me, you can um, start from your website front end and kind of um, go backwards. But for me, I like to start from my desk and I'll start from uh, my contacts. And um, the first thing is that I do have to have the contact in my contacts in order to send them listings. So if you do not have the contact already put in there or your lead, your client, uh, your customer, um, then you would just simply uh, click the add button. You'd put them in, uh, you know, test, uh, test name, uh, company name if they have it, their primary email, okay, email uh, at uh, email.com the primary phone number, Sally, if they want text messages, uh, 206-555-1212, okay, or whatever. Um, and then next, and, uh, you know, you follow those prompts. I'm not going to enter this in there, but uh, it's pretty easy to do to get to the end, add that new contact. Okay. Now, once you have the contact in your, um, essentially, this is your CRM, your database, your John L. Scott database, then we can go along and create an account over here in you know property tracker account so you can see these first two uh names and these are kind of test names so they're they're nobody or you know they're not an actual person um where i have created the account it'll have this orange uh manage button so that means that we've created the property tracker account so once you put your brand new person in there and uh, you do not have it lit up orange like that then you go ahead and click on the create account are you sure you want to create a property tracker account for this contact? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, very good. Now it's going to bring me to um, this screen here. Now, <clears throat> what you'll see is that the the lead will be kind of, uh, it's like you're in their um, property tracker account. That's okay. I know it's a little confusing, but um, we're going to go ahead and set up a search from here now. So, right, uh, this is where they'll log in and eventually see the listings and, you know, the stuff that you send them. Uh, so when they favorite them and such, they'll kind of um, populate into this account. But we need to go ahead and create their uh, search for them. So we're going to click this tab here for searches. It tells me I don't have any saved searches yet. Very good. So let's search now. Um, now, again, this looks like we're on the John L. Scott site. And oh, we got a little glitch there. Um, but... If you look over in the right hand corner, see again, we're in this um, this fake client's account, right? And so we're going to go ahead and set up a search. Um, so, okay, let's say we're going to do West Seattle um, and zoom in too many uh, searches. That's fine because we're going to hit our criteria. Okay, we probably want active um, listings. Uh, we want to give it a price range. So, you know, whatever that happens to be for you, let's say uh, 650 to um, 750. Uh, bedrooms, okay, they want at least two. Bathrooms, they want at least one and a half. Uh, square feet, they're looking for at least 1500 plus. Um, and then, you know, probably don't want to get too detailed, uh, but this particular client, they want a single family uh, residence. Okay, so now we've got it boiled down to, oh, wow, still 122 results, uh, which is quite a bit. But um, yeah, obviously you can tweak this um, as needed. And uh, once you have it set up exactly the way that your clients uh, would like it to or that you would like to have them set up. Um, oh, and then, you know, don't forget about the polygon. So let's say that West Seattle is maybe too big of an area uh, for you. And, and this particular client just wants to be uh, here in the Fauntleroy neighborhood. You would click the little polygon tool and... Uh, anyway. We could just do a, a little deal like this here. Okay. And no listings found for that area, but, you know, um, that's, uh, and then we can just get rid of it that way. 
So whichever way you want to search by, you know, polygon tool or by area or city or what have you, um, criteria. Okay. Once we got the search saved that we would want for that particular client, then we just hit the save button and it's going to give you save the new search. Yes. Do we want to give it a name? You know, I might do, uh, West Seattle homes for sale, uh, between what was it? 650 and 750 K, uh, two plus bedroom, something like that. And uh, maybe you can put some notes in there if that'll help you remember things or help your clients. Okay, now new listing notifications. So this is where they're going to get the email with these listings, which is kind of what we're doing this for. So yes, we want those on. The question is, how um, often do you want to send them? And that's between you and your client. Um, you know, I would say if my client is really actively looking to buy, they probably want to get these you know, with as fast as the market was moving, I was like immediately, but maybe now just daily um, and possibly even weekly. And if I'm not really too ready to go or I'm just kind of starting my search, I'm going to maybe want to only see it weekly. And then you want to uh, determine, do they want to get the listings just by email or would you like to send them via text as well? Again, via text is going to be pretty annoying for them if they're just starting the process or they're not really actively looking to buy or the search area is really big. So um, I might stick to just email on that. Uh, but if they're really pinpoint area and it's important that as soon as a listing that matches that search, we go look at it, then I might go ahead and add that to text as well. Again, it's really up to you and your client. And then market insights, you want to have that on. It's just a cool little report that will show exactly what's going on in that area at the end of every month, sort of a, you know, like a market report. Um, so I would say go ahead and leave that on. I think most clients will appreciate it. Um, we hit save and voila, you now have a um, saved search in their uh, search file again. And this has, you know, our contact information on here because that's what our clients see, right? Because we're following them. But again, we're still in this uh, fictitious uh, person's property tracker account. They now have one search set up in here and it's our West Seattle homes for sale between 650 and 750K, two plus bedrooms. Now they're going to get emailed weekly uh, whenever a listing matches that search and they're going to get those market insights every month. And that is how you create a search in, the, your, in your John L. Scott website using the property tracker tool. Hope this helps.